Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, it is time to predict the Champions League, Europa League, Conference League, Second leg, Semi-Finals, guys. Let's go ahead and do this, guys. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started, man. Let's not waste any further time. So we're going to start with the first game, we've got PSG versus Dortmund. PSG have to win this. They're the favorites for me for this one. Mbappe, you better not put a stinker here. Because if you do, we're going to have to have a scary convo. I think this is going to be very interesting. I think PSG for me, I think the thing with this game is I, I feel like the early, I feel like whichever team scores first is going to have a huge impact in the second, the, in the, the aggregate score. Because I think if PSG scores an early goal within like the first 30 minutes or so, then I think the tie is done. I just, I just think that it's really bad. Now, the longer it stays nil nil, the more it favors Dortmund. Because I think if PSG score a late goal, I could see Dortmund Peggy one back. It's a tough one to call. But I'm gonna put my. I'm gonna say this ends in a draw. I think this will be a one-one draw. I think we're very um, cagey. I don't expect a lot of goals, and I just feel like for me, I just have a feeling that PSG they'll think, oh, it's done. We'll score. We'll score a goal in the second half. You know, thinking they'll remove the extra time, and then Dorman just score a dagger at the last minute of the game. So I don't know. I just have a feeling this is gonna end in a draw. Real Madrid versus Bayern Munich, man. This is a big one. Real Madrid under. You know, they had just won La Liga yesterday. How are they going to react to this game? Because Real Madrid are the favorites for this one. You know, Bayern Munich, though, they haven't been great. And this is all they're relying on. Harry Kane, man, is he going to show up? Because I think for Harry Kane, if he shows up here, guys, and scores like the winning goal, it could be his biggest moment in his career. Real Madrid, it's going to be interesting. Carvalho is going to be back for suspension, and I think it's going to be really good. And for Bayern, I just don't trust him defensively. I just don't. I think Real is going to win this. I'm going to say Real wins this. I think the game is going to end 1-1 after normal time. And I think Real Madrid is going to score a goal in extra time to advance to the final. So I'm going to say Real Madrid wins 2-1 um, versus one. And I do think Real Madrid will advance. And my player of the match is going to be Vinicius Jr. like he did in the first leg. And yeah, as for my booster, is I'm going to play my booster on Real Madrid versus Bayern Munich. Moving on to the Europa League out here is Leverkusen versus Roma. Guys, this tie is done. I don't see Roma making a comeback. Leverkusen will definitely score. Um, and I think Leverkusen will score 2-1. I think it's going to be a 2-1 win this time. Um, and yeah, I just, I just think that even though Roma, uh, Leverkusen have nothing to play for, uh, they're just too good. They're just too good at the moment and amazing, man. And my uh, goal scorer, my first player to score, I'm going to go with is going to be uh, Victor Boniface. I'm going to go with him. Where is he? Victor Boniface. Yeah, right there. And I'm going to play my booster for this one. I had a lot to Marseille. It's a very tricky one to call. Uh, we saw the first like end one nil one one. I don't know, man. It's a tough one to call. I think it'll be very cagey. I think Marseille will really struggle because it's the way Marseille's away record isn't great. And Adelante, even though their home form is kind of also not that great as well, I still think Adelante is a better team, and I think they're more disciplined. So I'm gonna go with Adelante one Marseille nil. Adelante to score the goal, and I'm gonna go with my player to score is I'm gonna go with Escamaca. Skamaka has been pretty fantastic for Atalanta, so I'm going to go with him. Where is Skamaka? Where is he? They just... Let me just do this way. Maybe this way is better. Skamaka... Or maybe Coop Myers. Coop Myers could also be a shout. Uh, Skamaka's right there. Okay. Moving on to the conference that we got here. It is Club Bruce versus Fiorentina. Guys, this is a tough one to call. I originally predicted Fiorentina to uh, Club Bruce to advance. By seeing how Fiorentina won the first leg and that kind of fashion, I think Club Rouge is going to struggle. And I'm going to say this ends in a 1-1 draw. I hope I'm wrong with this prediction, but I just think I, I just think Fiorentina is going to do it. And yeah, I think Fiorentina is going to advance to the final. And yeah, I'm going to go with Fiorentina to advance. And I'm going to go with Ikone to score the goal. Or just, yeah, I'm going to go with Ikone. Next up is Lumpiakos was Aston Villa. This is an interesting one, guys. I think um, Aston Villa, for me, I think they can win this game, but I don't think they'll have enough to do the comeback. So... I'm going to go with Olympiacos to score, uh, but I think Aston Villa will win 2-1, but it will not be enough to do the comeback. I think Olympiacos will advance to the final, and I'm going to go with Ollie Watkins to score the goal for Aston Villa. He's been one of their best players. And yeah, I just don't trust the Aston Villa defense. The Aston Villa defense is all over the place, and I don't even know if Emmy Martinez is being back. So, hope you guys did enjoy these predictions. Uh, please remember to uh, like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Of course, there will be prediction links in the description below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.